We have filtered and counted the samples. Now we will prepare the Gem Master Mix and dilute the samples. We have reducing agent B, Vortex, verify there is no precipitate, centrifuge briefly, and keep at room temperature. We have Gem Enzyme Mix on ice. We have Gem Reagent Mix, thaw at room temperature, Vortex, verify there is no precipitate, centrifuge briefly, and keep on ice. We have post hive resuspension buffer on ice. Finally, we have the pooled samples in 1.5 milliliter microcentrifuge tubes on ice. Next, we will prepare the gem master mix on ice. Add the reagents in the order that they are listed in the user guide. First, add gem reagent mix, then reducing agent B, then gem enzyme mix. Pipette mix 15 times and centrifuge briefly. Now we will add the gem master mix to the resuspension buffer and samples. First, we will refer to the cell suspension volume calculator table for multiplexing four samples in the user guide. The left column lists the cell stock concentration in cells per microliter. The row at the top lists the targeted cell recovery. In this experiment, we are targeting 40,000 cells, and our cell suspension contains 5,000 cells per microliter. As a result, we need to load 26.8 microliters of post hive resuspension buffer to 13.2 microliters of cell suspension stock into each tube of a PCR 8 tube strip on ice. Add the post hive resuspension buffer to the sample into each tube of a PCR 8 tube strip on ice. Then, Add 35 microliters of prepared gem master mix into each tube containing diluted sample. Place remaining undiluted sample on ice. Sample should not be stored until after successful gem generation. We have prepared the gem master mix and diluted the samples. Next, we will assemble the chips.